It was easy to not blah ha ha. Yeah, cause that happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I may die. Another round of story time with Elf. I know you guys were missing it and you were wanting it back. I know. So I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to read you an excerpt from Chapter 2 of Angel's Gate because I can. So yeah. So here we go. It still looked the same. With the gray of dawn spreading through the streets, it looked to A.G. as if no time had passed since she had first left Shelter Cove, as if the last decade had simply been erased. The mountains cupped it on three sides, their shoulders heavy with the dark green of pine and hemlock. The slinking mists of early dawn rolled in off the lake, disguising the signs of progress, the scars left by time. It was easy not to notice the scattering of new houses set back in the trees, or the new marina, almost swallowed by the morning fog as it stretched out into the still, dark waters. There were other signs that time hadn't stood still. Yet not enough to remove that strange and somehow sinking sensation that she had never really escaped. She was not the same kid who had left. In that decade, she had found her freedom, her strength. And one tri quick trip back couldn't strip all of that away, could it? She wasn't a child anymore, and this wasn't her world. Still, the feeling of being sucked back in time remained with her, darkening her heart and thoughts. The dark SUV wove its way through the familiar roads, and she found herself remembering her childhood at every turn. There was the corner she had crashed her new tin speed on Christmas almost 20, almost 20 years before. There was the high school where she had kissed her first boy, and done a lot more than that a night or two in senior year. Those were memories she could look back fondly on. She had loved Luke Olson as much as a teenage girl could. He had been a sweet boy. Somewhere she had heard he was married, the father of two still a sweet boy. There was the Midtown Market where she had worked her first summer job when she turned 16. Shelter Cove was filled with memories, both good and bad, but it would never again be her home. She could not see herself growing old in that place. She couldn't see herself ever giving up her career and life in San Francisco to live in that postage stamp of a town. She couldn't imagine herself marrying and raising a parcel of kids, the two cars in the drive and the dog in the yard. She couldn't imagine that as her life, even though a small voice whispered that it would have been easy to if she just tried. She didn't want to. That domestic vision was what her mother had wanted and had never achieved. She wasn't going to want the same thing and spent her life regretting when it never happened. She was smarter than that. She would make the life she wanted, and that life was in, in California, 3,000 miles away. When they turned onto the street that led to her childhood home, the pain inside of A.G. seemed to shift, expand. Unconsciously, she raised a hand to press against her chest. Home. And if you want to read more, or hear more, you gotta buy the book. Until next time, I will talk to you guys later.